So today I just wanted to share with you my experience on the Girton Classic this year, 2016. Just to let you know, this is a kind of a long video, so uh, if you're looking for something more short or maybe more exciting, uh, maybe check out this video. Or This one's going to be kind of long and rambling. Yeah, this is actually the second time I've done this, this race, the Girton Classic. It comes every fall. Uh, this year it was November 6th. I think last year it was about the same time. And uh, so it's a it's a fall race. It's you know really at that point where you don't ride your bike too much anymore. At least I don't. Right here, I, I think I heard one of the uh, sections already taken off. And just to let you know, at least last year, I'm not even 100 percent sure how it happened this year, but last year they had three different groups going, and uh, it was still like the fastest group was going first, the middle is second, and then the slowest would take off last. Last year I, I started off like in the front of the slowest group. Uh, this year, I was going to start off somewhere in the middle group because I expected to go faster. But anyway, by the time I got to the street, I think the two groups have already go already went, or maybe they just had one group. So anyway, I uh, I just kind of stumbled out to the street with my bike, and I was a little bit unclear as to who was going when. And anyway, so I kind of headed towards the back back of the line here. I didn't, didn't know which group this was, so I thought I'd be better if I kind of got a little bit further back. So it was a little bit confusing getting started today, like just the start of the race. And because of all the rushing around and hurrying, I forgot my GPS watch. So right away I was annoyed by that. At about this point I realized I forgot it and it was too late to get it. Um, also I forgot my glasses. So this is the start of the race. Um, I guess because I was in kind of in the last starting group, uh, you can see the pace is pretty relaxed here. and I thought it was a little too relaxed. I kind of wanted to go faster, but at the same time I thought, okay, you know, I'm never really sure if I'm going too fast or if it's my imagination that we're going too slow. But, uh, so I kind of sped up a little bit, but kind of stayed with the group. I didn't want to push it too hard because it, it is like a, an hour and 15 minute race, so, you know, you have to conserve your energy. Right here is the first hill that we really go on, and it's not a very steep hill. To me, it's a real pain, though, because at this point, even though this is hard, I, feel, I can tell this is kind of difficult. I'm already breathing heavy, and I'm concerned because I know the rest of the course, and I know this is nothing. This is not that steep. It's not that long, but I'm already getting tired. Here's a nice little crowd of people telling me uh, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes you have little groups of people cheering, so that's nice. Uh, here is when we're getting close to the entrance of the woods, so the first time going off-road. Up until this point, it's all on the pavement. But uh, coming up here soon, we're starting to get into the forest and get into the gravel. Uh, here's a guy on the right here, I'm passing, his name's Juan. I met him on Instagram after the race, and uh, congratulations Juan for uh, for your finish on, I think you said, the first bike race you've done, so big congrats on that. And here's a guy on a fat bike, I don't know who it is, but he was pretty popular. Like I saw the photos on Instagram and Facebook, and almost all of them have a picture of him, because I think he was the only person on a fat bike. I ended up passing quite a few people because I started off so far in the back and uh, I, yeah I think I should have started a little bit ahead or further ahead but uh, it wasn't really too bad. It, most of this race isn't single track so you can pass by people fairly easily most of the time. This woman here in red and black I would see her quite a few times off and on throughout the race. Here was my first time kind of going down a, a hill, and I was pretty nervous about it having no front brakes. Basically my strategy was to lean back on the bike more than I normally would have to try to get some more grip on that back tire. And definitely slow down early for the turns, you can see some people already passing me by. I did lose some time going down for sure. The annoying part was is how far back it would put you going downhill compared to going up. Like I would catch up to somebody 
and it, it would take what seemed like forever going uphill to catch up to somebody and then on the way down suddenly they're really far away and then it would take forever to catch up to them again so Oh, this guy here that just passed, I don't know what happened to him, how that happened, but his handlebar is broken, as you might be able to see. It actually just completely is broken. So, he looked okay though, he didn't look like he was hurt. And this is actually, I'm going to speed it up or chop it up because this is kind of boring, but this is probably the, I would say maybe the first, I don't know, maybe the first, maybe the second worst hill because it's really long and uh, some parts are a bit rocky. It's a real pain to go up this hill. Um, and at the end here you can see some people are starting to walk uh, their bike at the very end. Uh, last time it was the same thing. Last time I did this race I passed a lot of people walking. I never have had to walk up this hill. I can always ride my bike up it, but I'm not sure if that's really the best strategy because you don't really get that much farther than the people who walk and maybe you're spending more energy doing it. So, And here's this woman in uh, red and black again. I started catching up to her. This is probably the worst hill. This one is really long and there's a lot of false summits. <laughs> so you think the top is right over the horizon, you're like, oh, okay, here it is. And then you get there and then it's not really it. There's another top and it just keeps going on and on and on. Now th that part I'm pretty good at because I don't know, I can just go through steep hills for a long time. Not fast, but keep going. This part here is when I was the most tired for some reason. Uh, this mud really seems to sap my energy. And uh, I was trying to ride through this part, but uh, due to the other people walking, I had to kind of go off into the weeds, and then uh, then that caused me to fall off the bike. So then I was just pushing the bike like everybody else at this point. And uh, you can see it's really muddy, really, really slick. Hard to ride the bike here. But I'm, I, I know I could ride through this part, but there's just so many people walking I didn't want to uh, you know, crash into them, or I just, when you're that exhausted, it doesn't take very many reasons for you to want to just walk anyway, so I'm like, okay, everybody else is walking, I'm walking too, even though I could have rode that.
Now at this point, I decided I should really try to ride. I, I thought, okay, I can do this. It doesn't look that bad anymore. So I got on the road. It was still a little bit slick. And then up here, it gets kind of steep. And you can see some of the other guys are jumping off their bikes. But I kept riding, and I almost think that was a, a bad move in a way. Because you can see here, I'm pushing pretty hard to go up, up past these guys, up past this woman. And it gets really steep. Not really steep, but a little bit steep. Uh, quite slick so I'm having to push real hard lean back and get a lot of grip and uh, just to get up this little peak being that steep and that uh, slippery took a lot of energy here I am reaching it and then you're going very slow and you need to make this turn now it's flattened out just a little bit but I'm so exhausted from uh, from that that effort that I can barely ride fast enough that everybody else doesn't catch up to me that was walking a minute ago. So I don't know if that's a great move. This is the first time I saw the snow coming up. Now I'm, I'm pretty much at the top of the mountain. It doesn't mean it's over. We still have to go down a little bit and then back up, but now I'm starting to feel happy. I'm like starting to feel helpful and hopeful. I'm pretty exhausted, but um, you know, in the mind, I'm starting to feel more positive because like, I'm at the top, so it's almost over. It's amazing how slow I'm going here. I don't know why I was going so slow. It doesn't look that steep. I don't think it is that steep. I really should have been trying harder to... I, I think I was just so tired from that mud and those previous parts that I just now hard, hardly have enough energy to uh, to go any faster because this is this looks so slow. I, I'm sure I could have gone faster if I wanted to. I don't know. It's, it's fun, kind of funny watching this video. It, it feels different watching it than when I was actually doing it, because when I watch it, I'm like, ah, come on, what's the matter? Just go a little bit quicker than that. That's like walking speed almost. But I'm sure at the time, if I could have done it, I would have done it. Here's a little downhill single track part. Uh, it's, I kind of like this part, but it isn't near as fun without any front brakes. And then there's a little tiny uh, descent here, just you know, a little drop. It's not really, a, it is a drop, I guess, but This is another rather exhausting part, and uh, I don't know if anybody's able to ride up this. It's really, yeah, you know, it's, it's it's really steep. I'll say <laughs> it's it's really steep, really muddy. There's some turns, so um, maybe on a dry day I could, if the every, if conditions were good, I was fresher and the and uh, maybe I could dry, ride my bike up this, but definitely not today. So I just pushed it up. That was even hard to push it up. I was so tired at that point. seconds then take this left hand turn which is pretty muddy then it starts going up this kind of grassy muddy path and uh, even last year when uh, the conditions were much better I think I had to push up push my bike up this a little bit but this year for sure I had to push and uh, in a second here you'll see where I foolishly tried to get back on my bike because I thought oh, okay it looks pretty grassy maybe I can ride here and go a little bit quicker you know, I don't like to push my bike unless I have to. So I jumped on the bike, and that was a total disaster. <laughs> like, the back tire was just spinning and spinning, and, and I could barely stay on the bike. I spent a lot of energy trying to, to ride this part where I should have just pushed it. And you can see that because that woman on the left passed me, and she's not, she wasn't really walking much faster than I was. And she gets much farther ahead because I was fooling around trying to ride the bike where I should have just pushed it. And I was a lot more tired probably because I was putting a lot of energy into trying to pedal. So I gave up on that and then started pushing again. 
And then this part here, I don't know what I, sometimes when I watch these videos, I don't know what I'm thinking. For some reason, I wanted to get onto this little cement part here and ride on that. And I took a lot of extra time getting the bike on and getting myself balanced so I could ride on the cement part. I don't know why. And you can see everybody that didn't do that is pretty far ahead. And I don't think I'll see them anymore for the rest of the race. So, I don't know what I'm, sometimes I think when in the middle of the race you just make the kind of dumb decisions as I do sometimes. So, and this part is probably one of the more fun downhill parts. Uh, it's kind of long and not super fast, but you can get some decent speed in some parts. There's these little tiny drops that are fun to jump off of. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, kind of cool, kind of cool and quick little section. And on a nice day, when you get around this corner up here and you take up the, and you look up to your right, you can see the Alps. And last year you could see them, and it was super beautiful, really inspiring when you're almost finished with the race, which you are at this point. But today, definitely no chance to see any mountains. Here's the last little bit of the race, and uh, this is when the point I'm thinking, okay, I'm almost done, I'm gonna just give it 100% now, there's nothing else I need to preserve. And also you can see I'm on the asphalt, so I don't have to worry about the back wheel spinning, so I was able to get up on the front handlebars and really extend my legs and push. And then that's also when I glanced down and I could see my GoPro was totally covered in mud, and so I wiped the mud off. I should have done that a long time ago. I, don't, I just wasn't thinking, simple as that. And uh, and so uh, definitely next time I need to remember, wipe off the GoPro uh, camera, it looks so much better now. This is the last stretch, and uh, I was trying to uh, catch up with this guy in black and white, but I was never able to. too too fast here because knowing that I didn't have any front brakes I didn't want to crash into somebody who might stop faster up the finish so it's kind of going quick but not all out and so that's it that was the finish of the race um, I finished in one hour 18 minutes which is actually pretty slow I was hoping to get more close to like one hour and five minutes. Last year I did it in one hour and eleven minutes, so I was seven minutes slower than last year. I think that's mostly due to having to walk quite a bit in the muddy parts. And last year we didn't have to walk as much, and also there was a, a big line of people, so even if you wanted to, to ride, you couldn't ride. Um, maybe it was a lot due to that. Also probably it was a lot due to the uh, fact I didn't have a, a front brake and I was just relying on the back brake. And uh, so I couldn't be sin near, nearly as fast as I wanted to. Also, coming into corners, I had to slow down very early. So, and yeah, I mean, just the conditions. Being so cold, it was about negative one degree at the top and about one degree positive Celsius at the bottom. So it was a lot colder, a lot muddier, a lot wetter than last year. Um, I think my fitness is about the same. So probably if all the conditions were the same, I would have ended up around the same time as last year. I wanted, I thought, and I wanted to... I thought I could and I wanted to go faster than last year, but I think I just didn't train enough at the end of this year. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a little bit hectic with the mechanical problems and the weather was pretty tough and coming getting there late. Uh, and you know, it, was, it was a tougher race than last year, totally different experience. But uh, in the end, it was really cool time and, and I'm psyched about it. Like I'm just happy that I did it and and I'm looking forward to doing it again. It makes me motivated to ride my bike more. It makes me motivated to get better. And, uh, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.